day guys and girls. So today we're going to be looking at texturing ceilings. So as you can see we've masked off areas that we don't want to get any ceiling texture on. The product that we're going to be using is made by Polyfilla and it can be put on with a brush, a roller, a sponge, um, you could probably put it on by hand if you wanted to. Um, you could put it on with a spatula or a putty knife, all kinds of methods to put it on. Today we're just going to be putting it on with a brush. This is a cheap brush. They come in multi-packs, probably not even a buck. I like the bigger one because obviously we're going to be covering some space here. Now I like this product because uh, it's not too expensive. I think it was around 11 or 12 bucks for that tub. But because of the area that I've got to do, um, the ones that come in the spray cans, yes, the, they're attractive in the fact that they just spray on, and it's very similar to the method that the original uh, popcorn ceiling spray was applied, but it'll only do about a square foot. And right in here, we're just over four square feet. So it's probably actually closer to five. So when you factor that in, and those sprays can be anywhere from about $15, I've seen up to about $30. Um, it gets quite expensive, whereas this is, like I said, it was around, I think, $10 or $12. Uh, and you can actually control the amount of texture that you do. So the other thing that you need to uh, consider is, and I'll show you on this section here. So you can see towards the... Uh, towards the brick, if it would actually focus. There's hardly any texture there, and there's hardly any paint. So the amount of paint layers that you add will actually uh, dictate what the finish looks like. So I'm actually gonna take you and I'm gonna show you a section that we did, I don't know, probably about 10 years ago. Again, if this thing would focus. So this section here, there's about a 10 inch section I actually did uh, about 10 years ago. And used the same product and it allowed me to basically add as much texture as I needed to. It's not perfect. Uh, what it was is there was actually a plumbing chase here because they had no way to actually go down, or at least they thought they had no way to go down through the floor with all the water lines. Uh, we made it work. But um, yeah, so you can see that the texturing you're able to apply and uh, get the texture results that you want. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to start with a very, very light coat. And like I said, you can go back after. And you can uh, make it the exact texture that you want. So basically you open up the container. It's hard to see, but... See how it's got like a... It's a pretty viscous consistency there. So we're just going to go up. I tried to put a flashlight here to try to make everything show up just a little bit better. We'll see how it works. Again, we're not doing very much this pass. We're trying to get just a good, just a good base down. We're trying to blend everything in without going too crazy on this coat. Again, you can do multiple layers. You can do as many as you want to try to get that perfect texture because every ceiling is a little bit different and you want to switch the way that your brush is being applied so that it doesn't 
kind of make the same pattern over and over again. If you flip the brush around, it'll kind of blend everything in a little bit better. Would it be faster with the spray can on this? Yes. Would it give you the same texture and the same results? Maybe. But again, you pull that trigger too much, guess what? Now you've got too much texture on your ceiling and you've got no way to control it. So. There's the start of our texturing. We'll do a follow up when we're all done. Okay guys and girls, so we have got the first coat applied. We even touched up a little bit along here. That'll blend in nice now. But as you can see, first coat's on. This coat here is just to get a baseline. And then we're going to go kind of in between all of those uh, kind of heavier spots and we're going to fill that in. And it's going to look just like that one we did in the bathroom. But as you can see, it's already starting to come along. One little drip here. Let it dry, it'll actually rub off. So we're getting there. We'll see you on the next coat. So we've got the first coat done. It's completely dry. But you can see the texture just isn't right. And that's one of the main advantages of doing this kind of system. So now we're just going to apply a second coat. Okay, the first coat is applied and it's fully dry. We'll just take this off and we'll get a nice closer look. As you can see in here, it's blended in pretty good. Still need a little bit more, but here we're just a little bit shy. Texture is quite good in some areas, but spotty in others. And that's the great thing about using this product because now you get to choose exactly how much you want to apply. So we're going to do a second coat. So same product as before, same brush as before. Start at one end. And you can already see that it's starting to fill in pretty good. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but make sure that you've got a, a drop cloth or something underneath that you don't mind getting the odd little drip on. Again, mask off any other spots that you really don't want to get extra texture onto. Painted surfaces. Even with that being said, I did miss. And I did get the wall. The nice thing about this stuff is until it's painted, it's not that bad to, to remove. A little bit of water kind of loosens it up and you can basically rub it right off. So that's already that's already looking like the product that we want, the end game. And it takes time, but again, for 
10 to 12 dollars for this product compared to you know probably 15 to 30 dollars per can in this case times four cans yeah probably would have went on quicker with the spray but again not as much control and far more expensive more convenient maybe but this is the method I prefer and that's why we're making the video today as you can see I got a little bit of stuff on my hands so we'll continue on with this but I just want to grab the camera and show you just how it's progressing and again it's not as easy to show when it's wet but you can see that we're going to knock down there's two bigger globs there we're going to kind of knock down but it's already starting to blend in I'd say that this next coat is probably going to do it and a little bit of touch ups on the third so we'll uh, see you back here when everything's dry and done on the second coat so as you can see the second coat is now dry and we're starting to get a more even transition so what we're going to do now is because it's still not quite as there's still some spots in here that are not quite what they could be we're going to go with a third coat we're just going to top that up but again we're getting there and the nice thing with this product is we can control it we can control as much or as little as we want the spray can too expensive and it really doesn't give you the control uh, that you need so we'll see you on the next coat good day guys and girls so we've completed the third coat of texture on this ceiling and as you can see let's show a flashlight on it too maybe that doesn't help but um, as you can see we've got pretty much the texture that we want when you look at it from afar aside from the color change that that line that you're seeing there that hard whiter line you'd never know very pleased with these results again if it wasn't for that line you'd hardly know and you could go back and you could hit some of the uh, lighter areas just to kind of you know blend it in even more but you got to remember too once you put the coat on the coat of paint on there it's going to kind of uh, thicken up everything and it's going to make some of those smaller bumps seem bigger because you're adding a coat of paint on top of it and uh, you'll be surprised with the results so if you enjoyed the video think about giving it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video thumbs down and tell me why down in the comments you know it could be the video quality wasn't the best um, I didn't explain something enough whatever it happens to be um, you know I probably didn't mention it earlier but if you're looking for super flashy videos um, with comedy and all kinds of other stuff in there it probably isn't the place for you if you're looking for good information on how to tackle some of these projects and have it look as good or better than having somebody else do it then this is the place so I hope you liked it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Think about hitting subscribe down there in the corner. I'm adding stuff like this all the time. It could be uh, house maintenance, could be yard maintenance, car maintenance, anything that I think might help help you guys and girls out. So until the next video, take her easy. And remember, you never know unless you bear.